What's that? Make a YouTube video. But I'm so comfortable. Okay, just for you guys. So Dan, what's new with your life? Any exciting hobbies? Eating all the vegetables? Doing all the exercise? <laughs> of course. But there's exciting news. I have discovered the secret to getting out of bed. Surely one of the greatest problems our generation faces. Last weekend, I slept in for about three hours. I must have pressed snooze like nine times. I don't even know how, it's horrific. <laughs> Why the hell is this my alarm? But as I got out of bed so late, I didn't really achieve much that day. And when there's loads of things you'd like to do, but you only have a few days off and you spend those days snoozing, we have a problem. Do you see my problem? So why on some mornings when I've had a perfectly fine amount of sleep, does getting out of bed feel like I'm forcibly ejecting myself out of my blankety womb? Well, sometimes if I'm dreading something I have to do that day, it's like if I just stay in bed and try to sleep a little longer, it might not actually have to happen. Oh, come on dreams. Give me something, anything. The one where I get probed by the alien that looks like Miley Cyrus. If I decide to sleep with my laptop next to me, I realize that I don't really have any reason to get out of the bed, so things like food and water and human company aren't really that necessary. And it's just comfortable. It's nice to lie there. Why should we have to move? Especially if it's cold. Now that is perfectly understandable. When I'm under a soft igloo of warmth and the biting winds of the industrial freezer that is my bedroom lies on the outside, I ain't getting into that. I mean, in reality, it just looks like this. But it feels like you're in the middle of fucking Antarctica. I mean, us humans don't have to hunt animals to stay alive, but unlike bears, we can't just hibernate through our responsibilities. Which of us has it worse? Which is why we wear pajamas, right? But the problem they cause is that if I don't actually have to leave the house that day, I probably won't ever take them off and the day is ruined. You see, pajamas aren't just an item of clothing. They're a state of mind. I wake up in pajamas and have a lazy pajama morning, this lazy pajama morning then turns into a lazy pajama afternoon, which turns into a lazy pajama evening, and the cycle endlessly repeats. It's an Ouroboros of sloth. So Dan, getting back to the bloody point, I wanna do things with my life. How do I get out of bed? Well, you see, when I investigated this, I read all the common tips. Put your alarm clock across the room so you have to get up to turn it off. Plan a fun morning activity that you'll want to get up to go do. Drink 47 pints of water before you sleep. Or get up and do some exercise. <laughs> and they're all right, they work. But the truth is, they're kind of just excuses. There is only one real answer. And it may not be the answer you deserve, but it may be the answer you need right now. When you're laying in bed thinking about all the things you could be doing, but you're just sat there going, but I'm so comfortable. You just have to ask yourself, are you ready to seize the next day of the rest of your life? Or are you just gonna lay there like a wuss? And that's what happened to me. One day I was just lying there and to be honest, this happened in between snoozes, so it was probably a dream. And I saw myself next to my bed and I said, Rise and shine, motherfucker, it's a brand new day. Are you gonna stay in bed like a wuss? Or are you gonna get up and grab life by the tit balls? Mm. Are you a wuss? No. Are you a wuss? No. Is you a wuss? I'm not a wuss. You are gonna jump up in three, two, one. Rawr! Yeah, you go! Show the world! Now put some clothes on, Jesus Christ, I don't want to see that. And that, friends, is how I learned to get out of bed. Yeah, I'm awake, I'm out of bed. I'm gonna live my life. What, I said this would be good for getting out of bed, not anything else. Can't expect me to change anytime soon. True story. If that touched you in all the right places and you'd like to see more of my videos, then you can click here to subscribe to my channel to be told when I make a new one. But I want to know why if you guys find it hard to get out of bed, or maybe you have some gimmicky tips on how to that aren't just facing the harsh truth, leave me a comment down below and I will see you soon. If I ever get out of bed, <laughs> psych. Okay, bye.